Our hands are essential for many daily tasks, such as eating and drinking and working at a job. However, trauma and disease can result in devastating permanent injuries to our hands. The World Health Organization estimates that 80% of amputees live in low-income countries, yet only 2% of these people have access to prosthetic care. Hi, my name is Nick Dechow. I'm the director of the Biomedical Design and Systems Laboratory at the University of Victoria. Along with our collaborator, the Range of Motion Project in Guatemala and Ecuador, we propose a sustainable system to fabricate, deploy, and maintain hand prosthesis through a combination of 3D printing and community-based clinics. Presently, donated and surplus prosthesis are refurbished by local staff to provide low-cost solutions for hand amputees. The typical system is the cable-powered splint hook. The Guatemala team has dedicated and experienced staff, but their methods are resource limited and hence very low tech. If supplied with our advanced printing scanning tools, these volunteers could produce world-class prosthesis. By leveraging our design experience with the TBM hand, we will create a low-cost, 3D printable version for deployment. Our unique design has adaptive grasp for securely gripping irregular objects with minimal force. The 3D printed version will be cable powered with no need for electricity. It's fully waterproof and dirt tolerant. 3D printing is perfect for prosthesis which require complex parts and low fabrication quantities. Formlab's stereolithography printer is perfect for small, high-strength parts like fingers. By using a 3D scanner to scan patient limbs, the MakerBot's extrusion printing is great for large parts like arm sockets. Our integrated technology approach will sustain this operation by providing 3D printing and scanning services for revenue generation during off hours. This provides a benevolent cycle of advanced technology, social entrepreneurship, and community-based healthcare.